Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rob Balasavis. Today I'm going to give you a tour of a tool that I am really enjoying so far. It's called Session and uh, I'm going to share my screen so we can just jump right into it. All right. So this is Session. Just go to Session.com. There's also a link in the description. If you want to go check this out, uh, there is a free version of Session. And so make sure to go and set up that free trial um, so that you can follow along uh, this video today. So Session, if you're trying to think of, you know, where does Session fit in, Session is, like it says here on their homepage, it's the easiest way to host interactive webinars. So if you're doing any type of webinars, whether it's on Zoom or any other tools, Webinar Jam, any other sort of like tools for webinars specifically, and meetings, which is really where this falls for me on a daily basis to use this for meetings. Meetings, um, and so again, replacing Zoom, disrupting the whole world of Zoom. Um, if this is you, if you have meetings uh, regularly with customers, partners, team members, this is an awesome tool to check out, okay? Um, like it said here, there is a free trial, so you can get a free trial, um, and you can see here, no credit card required. No credit card required, okay? So go ahead and get started with that. Um, and so I'm just gonna scroll down here, and then um, essentially what I'm gonna do here today in this video is I'm gonna show you inside of session. I'm going to actually show you what sessions looks like inside in the dashboard, how to set up session, how to set up a room, how to customize your room, um, and then how to take it from there. Okay, so let's go back to my screen. I just want to give you a, a scroll of uh, what uh, session can be used for. So you can see here there's workshops, uh, video podcasts, meetups, webinars, fireside chats, office hours, town halls, all hands, sales calls, trainings, interviews, stand ups, roundtables, all sorts of things. OK, uh, you can also customize to match your brand. You see our good friend Nick Nimmin here looking all sharp over here in his studio uh, in Thailand. And you see Nick Nimmin. YouTuber. I'll show you exactly how Nick set that up. Um, you can invite co-hosts as well. Um, the one thing that you should know about Session is that Session is actually owned, it's built by Hopin, which is the same people that also own and acquired StreamYard. And so a lot of the UX, a lot of the interface um, will be very familiar. If you're already using StreamYard, which you guys know I love StreamYard. If you guys are already using StreamYard, hopefully you are then you'll be very familiar with how session is set up on the back end, okay? Uh, so you can invite co-hosts, you can you know give them production controls, set up the custom layouts, all that stuff, and really set the stage uh, for a really sharp looking meeting or webinar or whatever that session will be, all right? Um, there's also a lot of engagement uh, tools, engagement features here, which I'll show. I'll try to show that to you in this video, uh, but it may be in another video as well. Uh, so here you can do confetti bursts, uh, emojis, uh, polls, Q&A, music, timers, uh, chat banners, and more. There's really lots of that fun stuff there. I think, you know, Zoom is great, can get really dry, and so Sessions has really stepped it up and made it way more fun, way more engaging to be in a meeting, <laughs> uh, which is great, okay? Got a couple more clicks here and then we're gonna jump into the back end of session into my account, okay? Uh, you can also record um, and play back. Uh, you can have a playback microsite so you don't have to record and then upload. Uh, you can record uh, your meetings one click um, and then have that shareable, shareable um, to, uh, to a, a microsite. Uh, a microsite means that it's a website um, where you don't have to upload, you can just share a link and people can go check out that recording. Um, and you can actually brand that microsite uh, so that um, it looks like your company's website, right? So you can match the branding with that when you're sharing the recording. And high quality. I mean, this is something that StreamYard has done so well um, just over the years. It's just such high quality video. Um, and so for the folks out there, here are all the stats on that uh, quality of the video, ultra low latency, all of this, you know, very technical stuff. They've got that covered as well. Uh, just a really great job there. OK, so let's uh, dive into session. We're going to talk about pricing. We're going to talk about pricing in just a minute. But again, make sure you go and set up a free trial. Go to the link 
in the description um, and make sure that you set up that free trial that way you can follow along this tutorial okay because I'm gonna go into the dashboard I'm gonna go behind the scenes into an account and so pause this video right here go into the description set up your free trial no credit card required and then come back to the video and then follow along with me as you set this up okay so let's go back to my screen all right so here's my dashboard so once you set up your session this is what it's gonna look like I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger just so you can see a little bit easier here okay so um, really easy you've got your home history and integrations there's three tabs okay very simple one two and three okay one two and three um, and so we're gonna spend uh, the first little bit here in home okay we're gonna go in the home section here so um, here you see your dashboard real quick uh, snapshot uh, zero sessions right that you've done and you have one room this is one room I've got this one room down here which you can see there is my room Rob's meeting room <laughs> right didn't get too creative with that name but that is it right there Rob's meeting room okay um, that's all we have there okay uh, you can make more rooms if you like right um, and so all you need to do is click on new okay so let's pretend to do that new okay so when I click on new oops I'm gonna zoom out again when I click on new then I have a couple of options here one I can create a permanent room this is actually the type of room that I have which is a permanent room uh, because I actually put my session uh, link because each room this is basically like a session uh, each room uh, gives you a link that people can join for your meetings right or your hangouts or whatever that may be your stand-up whatever that may be and so I have a permanent room that I've set up and I actually put that in my Calendly that's a tool that I use to set up uh, calls and meetings with partners and customers and um, and team members and so I share my Calendly they find time on my calendar they book that meeting and then automatically they see the link to my session room okay and it's a permanent room okay um, now alternatively you can go and also set up a one-time session now this is just a one-time use room um, if you want to use it for one meeting or one big you know town hall or whatever you may want to use it for um, it has a registration page right you get data engagement insights right and so this is good for webinars workshops and other one-time events permanent rooms is good for meetings hangouts and other smaller sessions okay so those are the two differences all right so you got permanent room and you've got your one-time sessions all right so let's set up a permanent room go next and now Rob's other room I'm just gonna put number two okay and so you see here that there is a link right here that is given okay that's my other that's a link right here but we're gonna click on next now oops all right oh okay there we go um, okay I'm gonna make this a little smaller so you can see it all right so now we're gonna select the theme for my other room okay so we've got a meeting here got workshop right which one is it okay so you got different looks okay this is a meeting set up here you see all the tiles here so everybody has the same uh, number of uh, sort of size of tile here so this is a meeting okay and you can have up to 100 attendees audio and video for everyone we also have workshop okay so now workshop is basically there's a stage right so there's those uh, the people on stage have a you know the video is a little bit bigger and then you've got your attendees right below in a smaller window for each of the attendees now you also have up to 100 attendees audio and video is available for everyone of course you can control control this okay and then you've got webinar okay now a webinar is a little bit different is that there are no uh, there's just one big <laughs> you know one big uh, you know sort of screen here or window for the presenters okay and so you can have up to 5,000 attendees here uh, and audio and video is only for the people that are on stage okay if you need more than 5,000 people because that is not uncommon you may have a very big uh, audience that you're expecting 
then you may need to reach out to the sessions team for custom price pricing custom packages um, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit in terms of pricing okay back to the screen so we're gonna click on meeting here okay and again meeting everybody has the same size windows right and we're gonna create the room now it's creating the room and here we are okay so you'll see that I'm sharing my screen so I'm gonna not share my screen I'm gonna share because <laughs> you can see now I'm, not, I'm gonna, just gonna turn off the video here just for now and um, and so what you see here is a preview this is a preview just like if you were going to go live inside of StreamYard you know that there is that screen where it gives you a preview of your camera and everything all right and so this is where we're at okay um, and so very quickly I'm gonna show you this part here is you can customize this okay this is your uh, your uh, lower third okay um, and so you see that it has my name Rob Balasabas and then also my title head of partnerships and community you can also put a logo right here where you see the U screen logo uh, all you need to do is click edit highlight over the logo here and click on edit and you can upload the logo here as well okay gonna cancel that for now you can then click on this uh, sort of paint bucket right here and that will pull up the different color schemes so I'm gonna choose this one or maybe I like the green you know uh, whatever you like there's gradient options as well um, but I really like that white really clean uh, because my logo goes well with that okay now uh, we are gonna go and check the audio similar to StreamYard you've got your audio settings right here and then your video settings right beside it right before you click on join room okay or enter studio if you guys are familiar with StreamYard that would be sort of the enter studio room or button so with the audio the audio settings there's a drop down arrow you'll see that here okay and then you see all of the different uh, settings that I have different microphones and speakers and you select accordingly same thing with your video settings you click down and you see the two cameras that you have or the all the cameras that you would have that are available and you select the one that you like okay and then also you have some additional options here so you have I'm gonna kind of zoom in here a little bit there we go and here you've got a couple options you can blur the background you can also make this portrait if you like versus landscape or uh, you can make this uh, portrait or landscape as you can see or you can actually make this uh, select a virtual background so I'm gonna zoom out here and on the right hand side you see that now I've got some different options to make a virtual background um, what I really like about um, what I really like about this in the virtual background is yes you've got the options that you can think of you know you can upload your own image there's some images already available and things like that um, or you can actually click on generate right you see this generate button right here generate this is AI this is really cool okay so let's get let's click on generate and now you can enter anything you want <laughs> it's integrated with AI and so you know I can put in uh, let's say uh, I want to put in uh, Vancouver and I can generate that Vancouver all right there there's a picture of Vancouver um, I'm gonna put in Boracay if you guys are from you know I've been to the Philippines Boracay is one of the most beautiful islands there uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like paradise there so let's say Boracay and there you go there's a picture of Boracay um, which is super cool right and so you can use that it's free I'm, this is actually this test account is on the free plan um, there's no upgrade or anything there's no watermark uh, use this background so I can use this background there we go all right uh, now the camera here is just not working because I turned it off but essentially you could see yourself um, there uh, in the preview okay so now let's go inside the room it's going in the room and there we are so now we've got some pop-ups it says here uh, welcome to Rob's other room number two that's the name of the that's just the name of the room um, similar to StreamYard right you guys see this sort of interface here similar to StreamYard there's me this is where I would be right with my title and then my name and all that um, and then here is the instructions right beside it boom right here 
how to invite others to your room. And so I would copy the attendee link, see this button, this blue button right here, copy attendee link. I could take this, I could then now email this to somebody, I could send this to somebody in a DM, I could put this in a calendar link, um, I could put this into calendar event, uh, I could put it in Calendly, however you want. You can send this as a LinkedIn message, like, hey, here's where we're gonna meet. Um, I could use this in um, you know a virtual meetup, uh, you know uh, instructions, um, wherever you want people to see where to join you, that's where you would put that link. Uh, super super easy. Okay. It's also worth noting, also worth noting that they don't need to download anything. This is all browser based. They don't need to download anything at all. It's all browser based. Okay. And so they can just click that link um, and it'll pop up on their browser um, and uh, or they can copy and paste that link into a browser and away they go they're in your session it's really easy okay now on the right hand side you'll see some options here so this whole section is customizations okay you can see that uh, right here okay so let's go I'm gonna go through each one of these and you can just kind of see it uh, general so you can rename your room Okay, really easy. So let's say Rob's other room. Let's take out the number two, update. That's uh, that's done. Okay, <laughs> it's just Rob's room now. Uh, security. You can click on security. Okay, pass co passcode protected if you want. Um, you can also not do that if you don't want. Right. This will let anybody into your room, which is uh, it's up to you. Uh, however you like, uh, you don't have to put a passcode, but you, I would recommend it. Um, you can also restrict access by domain. Now that's an upgraded feature. Uh, you can have people ask to join, which I would suggest in case you're some, you're having a meeting with somebody else and you're going a little bit over time. Uh, you don't want the other next meeting, the next person you're meeting to just jump into, uh, your existing meeting, right? Uh, go to background so we can go to background and again you can change the background it's this background right here that you're gonna be looking at which is awesome it just looks so much nicer um, than uh, zoom right <laughs> uh, nothing again zoom I love zoom I've been using zoom for a while as well uh, but this has just been so good you know Google meets you know all those all those uh, types of tools but there it just looks so much nicer just have such a much more pleasant meeting I would imagine right um, if that is your background um, all right you can also do a search so if you go here on this side you can search as well right here um, and you can also upload a um, uh, image uh, if you like and these images are provided by unsplash as you can see okay it says right here uh, very clearly they've got an integration with unsplash so well done that's great it's a great library of uh, background images okay um, you can do the logo now the logo is uh, it is an upgraded feature um, and so you want to do that if you want to up 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 uh, excuse me update the logo okay you can also change the colors foreground text color background color um, engagement you you can turn on or off different engagement uh, so they do recommend keeping these to encourage attendee engagement so you've got the confetti feature so this will allow you to have like confetti kind of popping up um, on the screen if somebody's really happy with what you just shared. It's just like really cool to see that. Reaction, you can also scribble so people can share and draw on the screen similar to what I'm doing. You don't need a third party um, Chrome extension like I do. Um, and you can also have people chatting with other attendees. So uh, attendees can chat with each other and react to their messages, okay? So you can have a, a chat with all the other attendees. So that's engagement. Permission. Okay, so who has permission to start and stop recording? Anyone or the host? Who has permission to join the stage? Anyone or the host? It's totally up to you. You can set that up. And then lastly, stage. So the logo and name animation, uh, you can change some of the animations here. Uh, background animations, you can change some of that here as well. And the stage color, you can change that here as well. Okay, now going down below, right here again if you are familiar with StreamYard, then you will know these um this already so i know on screen it might be a little hard to see but down below i'm gonna point them out here so you've got your audio controls here on the very left that's red next one to it to the right of it is uh the video options again 
Next one to that is your screen sharing. So this is your share. You can either share YouTube videos or share your screen, similar to, again, StreamYard, okay? You then also have your emoji reactions, right? Emoji reactions right here, very easily. You can have somebody raise their hand like that. See, it'll look like this, you see that? Um, and now I have my hand raised and whoever's talking knows that I have my hand raised. And so they're gonna say, okay, Rob, hey, did you have a question? Great, you have something to add? Yes, and then I say my piece, that's done. I can now lower my hand just by clicking it again. And I think one of my favorite here is that now there's also a BRB, <laughs> be right back feature, right? There's a button right here that says be right back. So I'm just gonna click on be right back. And it has this fun little like little hanging sign that says BRB, okay? So uh, again, if I just, you know, sorry, something's come up on, you know, one of my kids entered the room or somebody knocked on the door because I work remotely or, you know, my um, my laptop is acting up or, or my microphone is not working properly. I just put the BRB sign. Right. And uh, and then it's all good. See, so it looks it looks really fun. Uh, again, nice engagement tools that they've made meetings really fun. OK, BRB, I'm back. All right. Let's take out the BRB uh, and away we go. OK, uh, on the right here, bottom right. We also have host controls, right? So you got your host controls here where you can record, uh, you can set the, turn on the stage on or off, right? So, okay, waiting for someone to join the stage. You can change the grid as you like. You can add a stage. You can then record as well. Like I said, you have Q&A as well. Okay, so people can put in their questions and the host can see the questions as they come up. You can have uh, breakout rooms. <laughs> and so breakout rooms are really awesome. So breakout rooms basically is like, hey, if there's 20 of us here, let's create five rooms of four people and have breakout sessions. Now this breakout feature is on the paid plan. Um, and again, it'll ask you to upgrade that. And we'll talk about the pricing in just a moment. We also have a timer timer feature here, which is cool. So hey, you know what? You guys get uh, you know 60 seconds, one minute each to say your piece. All right, go ahead. I've started the timer. You see that at the bottom here, at the top left here. There you go. I love that feature, right? Hey, everybody go around. We're gonna go around. Everybody's gonna do an introduction, introduce themselves, um, and you get 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna come back. Everybody's gonna do the, their thing. Everybody gets 30 seconds to share a question or an idea that came up from the discussion or from the breakout room, right? So it's really cool to have this. Uh, I love this timer feature, okay? All right, so we're gonna take that out for now. We have music as well. So they've, they've got some music here that already is like plugged in or you can add music from YouTube as well. Kahoot, uh, it's, a, it's a cool little tool to allow you to do some games. We have Slido, actually not familiar with Slido. I think it might be a slideshow type of tool. And then there's also Typeform and you can plug in your Typeform here. Uh, just get your Typeform share link, okay? All right, so we're gonna zoom out of here. I think this is there's a couple more things I wanna show. Definitely wanna talk about pricing, but just I just wanna ask you just to pause if you have any questions, drop them in the chat, uh, or sorry, in the comments. I'm so used to live streaming on StreamYard, but drop them in the comments. I wanna answer as many questions as possible uh, around uh, this tool of session, okay? Um, and also, if you have not yet, um, you know, probably a good time as well to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Um, if you're finding some value in this video, I create a ton of tutorial videos around StreamYard, starting to uh, create a lot of tutorials around session as well, Adobe Express, um, and just tools for creators and just ways to uh, also help creators make money uh, through different revenue streams. Uh, that's what we do here on this channel, all right? So back to the screen. Okay, um, more on the bottom right, um, we've got the customization, which I already showed you there. Um, you can also see the attendees on the bottom right. So you can see all the attendees here. There'll be a list of attendees. Um, and then also there's a chat um, right here, okay? The very, very bottom right. 
this is where you can chat with other attendees. Okay, so um, that being said, that really covers most of it. Now, the only thing that's left here is pricing. So let's talk about pricing. And again, this is pricing based on as of um, July, August 2023. It could have it could change, of course, just like with any software tool, um, it could change. All right, so we're gonna look at pricing. And so, like I said earlier, um, that there is a free plan, free plan, okay? Zero forever, you see that there? Zero forever. Um, there is a 10 attendee limit. That's really important to know. So you can have up to 10 people in each session. Uh, you can also only have 45 minutes per session. So if you have 30 minute calls typically, then this still works well for you. Um, and you only have five hours of recording storage per uh, I believe this is actually for the lifetime, okay? And so that's the free plan. If it if you're not recording and you have less than 10 people every single meeting and you are not going over 45 minutes per session, then this plan actually works really well for you. You can just get started with that. Um, the next plan up is starter plan, okay? It's $9 per month uh, if you are paying annually or $12 if you're paying monthly. Uh, you can have up to 25 people per session. Um, you can have longer sessions now, 90 minutes instead of 45. You also have 50 hours of recording time. You also get the breakout groups, custom logos, and domain white listing. Okay, that means that you can actually, instead of sending them to a dot session.com URL, uh, you can use your custom domain. Now the next plan up is a pro plan. This is really good for webinars and larger events. Okay, the previous two are really good for meetings and smaller events. Um, and this is $39 per month if you are billed annually, right? So 39 times 12, um, or uh, $49 per month if you're being billed, if you wanna be billed um, monthly, okay? Now there is a attendee limit, so 250 people attendee, or all the way up to 1,000 people, which changes the plans a bit, and brings it up to 159 and 199 whether depending if you're paying monthly or annually okay now I, this plan though does give you uh, six hours per session which is really long um, 250 hours of recording storage unlimited co-hosts engagement insights and analytics data export and CRM integrations okay it's really it's really for like the real pro 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 okay and then the last plan here doesn't even have a price, but it's for business and it's for people that have much more customized needs beyond the pro plan. Um, and so, you know, 5,000 people per session. I mean, imagine if you expect more than 5,000, then you can uh, talk to their sales team and then just everything else is all upgraded and there's no pricing, like I said, so you have to contact sales, okay? If you scroll down below here on the session uh, website, then you can see a really in-depth uh, comparison chart of each uh, feature and each plan and you can then really get you know real deep into the specific things that you're looking for um, if there's really specific things you're looking for in a tool like this all right so uh, there you have it I love sessions uh, or session actually and uh, I hope that you check it out I think it's a really good alternative to zoom Google meets um, and uh, and even webinar jam and those kind of tools for webinars um, and so go check that out again uh, I would appreciate it if you guys use the uh, link in the description full disclosure it is an affiliate link so you'll be supporting this channel by using that link and signing up for a session um, and also I would love for you to uh, subscribe to the channel we're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers um, and so I hope you uh, are part of that journey here with us um, as we continue to grow in this community community and this channel. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I want to make sure I answer as many questions as possible um, around session and all the other tools that we are talking about on this channel. All right. So again, my name is Rob Balasavis. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.